Which white chocolate sauce is the best? Stay tuned to find out. Hey guys, welcome back to Maison Molly. I'm Ash Molly, and today we're gonna be taste testing white chocolate sauces and seeing which ones are the best. But before we hop into it, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. If you haven't already, your girl is trying to hit 25,000 friends by end of December. And so if you haven't subscribed yet, you can hit the subscribe button down below. Of course, you guys know you can also find me over on Instagram and TikTok where I make daily coffee recipe videos. If that's something you're interested in, you can find me right here. Let's taste test some white chocolate sauces. Alrighty guys, so tis the season for all of your chocolatey drinks, whether you're making white chocolate mochas, peppermint white chocolate mochas, I'm ready for it. We've got the chocolate on deck, but I wanted to try these four popular white chocolate sauces for you guys, and we're going to see which ones we like the best. Um, usually I'm not a white chocolate sauce kind of person. Personally, I prefer to use like real chocolate squares, melt them down, make it extra fancy and thick, but... I wanted to give these a go why not I haven't used white chocolate sauces in probably about two years or so so I looked around I kind of sought out like which were the most popular ones and these are the ones I came up with first up we've got Ghirardelli this is the Ghirardelli white chocolate sauce I tried this one before maybe about two years ago gonna say I didn't really like it but you know maybe they've improved the formula since then we're also gonna try Tarani Tarani is always one of my favorites it's one of my favorite brands so i'm interested to see what their white chocolate sauce is going to be like i also picked up of course you guys already know monin this is the monin white chocolate sauce for those of you who may not know i also have a monin code is for 15 percent off any of your monin purchases on their website the code is maison this video though is not sponsored so who knows if monin is going to win and fourth i have to put these down to show you guys that one fourth up is hollingers that's what it looks like hollingers now i was a bit bummed by this one because it didn't have anything smaller and i was like what if i don't like this i paid 27 dollars for this thing um but i see some of you guys using it around the gram um so i'm presuming that it's good if you guys are liking it but I don't know if it's gonna be my favorite. So I'm actually going to base my review on texture and taste. So I want something that's kind of thicker, creamier, and then we're gonna see which one really gives us that white chocolate flavor. And then guys, when we're done taste testing these four sauces, whichever one reigns supreme, we are gonna make a toasted white chocolate mocha. Let's taste test. So guys, I'm gonna make this super simple. First, I'm just going to go ahead and brew a peru. <laughs> Why am I always dropping things? I'm gonna go ahead and brew a peru pod. I like peru because I think that it pairs really nicely with chocolates and sugars and things. So I'm gonna pop this on in. now really easy we're gonna brew the pod and then i'm gonna put a little bit of white chocolate into each little mug and then we're gonna top it off with the espresso and see which we like best Alrighty guys, so we've got all four of the white chocolate sauces brewed with the espresso ready to go. Let's start tasting them. We're gonna start off with the Ghirardelli. Um, the Ghirardelli was kind of the thinnest of the white chocolate sauces. So it didn't really have a thick consistency to it and it was also like the most like white one. 
but let's taste it and see what we think. Interesting. Hmm. I don't really get white chocolate, to be honest. For me, I think this one tastes a bit artificial, as it looks artificial, but let's keep moving. Next, we've got the Monin. Monin was really nice in um, texture, a little bit thicker. Let's see how it tastes. That tastes so much better. It actually tastes like white chocolate which is confirmed even more for me that the Ghirardelli one is just not it. Yeah, it's very creamy. You definitely get chocolate. Okay, Monin, this is the Tarani. Tarani had good texture as well. Let me add a little bit more. To be fair, because this one had like a lot of the crema on top. So let's see. It's good, but it's sweet and I'm not getting creamy chocolate either. Definitely better than the Ghirardelli, like doable. If you can't find the others and you can find this one, I would say go for it because it's creamy, but it's not giving me chocolate. And then last but not least, we've got the Hollingers. I've never tried this one before, so I'm interested to see what I think. This one was the thickest of the four, so it had a really nice consistency. Let's see what it tastes like. Ooh, that's good. That's real good. Okay. I don't know though. Is it gonna be Hollinger's or Monin? Let's taste them again. <laughs> Alrighty, so it's a close call. I kind of love these both. I think if I had to rate them from a one out of five, I would give the Monin. Yes, a four out of five, and I would give the Hollingers a 4.5 out of five. So I kind of love them both. They're both, they both have good consistency. They both actually taste like white chocolate, but I think that the Hollingers is gonna be the winner for this taste test. So as I promised, we're gonna go ahead. It's kind of warm today in California. I think we're gonna make an iced toasted white hot chocolate mocha. Let's go. chocolate makes it a little bit more sweet so I like it 
Drop it in the comments down below. Let me know, have you tried the Hollander Jur white chocolate sauce before? What do you think? What's your favorite white chocolate sauce? As always, guys, thank you for stopping by me, Zao Molly, and I'll see you guys next time.